How's it going guys? This is Mouseball and this is the Attack Mouse Nation and guys we're at the eight year anniversary of Cars and Coffee and right here I've got quite a few cars going by and we've got our whole lineup for today which isn't that bad of a lineup believe it or not considering a lot of our members have not been able to show up because of family issues and other things but this Rosso Red Abarth looks amazing and to bookend that we got this black 124 Abarth. Obviously we also have the Mighty Nelson's car which I just showed you in an earlier video and this one is going to be getting a lot of work done to it. Can't wait to see what he does next with it. We've got 500 Soul Flow. We've got School of Rock in the back who gave us a customary middle finger. <laughs> And we got Oleski with his car. His car is quite a performer. There's no doubt about it. He's done quite a few things with it. And what's really amazing is that he's actually polished a lot of this car and got it back to brand new. A lot of stuff going on, without a doubt. Oh, there we go. We got Ryan. Or, yeah, actually, it's Ray. <laughs> situation we got Nelson's a barth which is basically a track only car and actually it's clean today believe it or not and we've got turbo Tom's car El Blanco Diablo and obviously mama mouse's favorite mouse ball so I mean so far so good the show is filling up little by little over time more cars are showing up and this has been a great show so far so without a doubt guys as you can see you've got your standard fare of chargers challengers mustangs camaros you got a few rare unicorns like this firebird formula firebird right here some teslas mixed into the car show i mean just a lot of different cars this one right here is pretty incredible this is a toyota tacoma right here with a intercooled and turbocharged engine it has a huge hood scoop in the front and then it's got these wide body fenders and some huge tires on the back you kind of needs to upgrade to the disc brakes in the back i think that would help the performance and we got a chevrolet hhr ss that is super cool I mean, there's just a lot of really amazing rides out here. We've got a Grand National on some drag radials, I think, over here. Yeah, we got some Nittos on this one. And I think this one right here is a GNX. Wow, this is really incredible. Look at this car. And Darth Vader has arrived, that's for sure. And right here, we've got some terminator mustangs you know this one right here i don't think is a cobra it could be a two valve yeah no we got a two valve supercharged mustang which is pretty amazing so seeing something like that out here is pretty rare because not too many people put a lot of money into the 4.6 liter two valve engine and then we have a saline which right here, these saline Mustangs from this vintage are pretty rare and they're super nice. I mean, the body styling from saline is really awesome. Look at that car. And then here's my uh, friend Santos Mustang. It's got the Belgian wheels, Sparco seats, fully dropped. got your catfish Camaro over here on this side got some Audis and a couple of Volkswagens I mean just really great cars all individually done up some of them have you know modifications that you can pretty much tell what they are and others are very subtle like this right here this is a Ram TRX right here and what a monster look at the wide body fenders on this this is the truck that actually goes up against the raptor i mean that's incredible and then right here you got these hentai style mazdas 
I want to make sure I stay out of the this gentleman's uh, photos, not photobomb his stuff. And right here, this Toyota hatch is super cool. Right here, this uh, slaughterhouse stanced ride. And you're going to have a couple of those cars sprinkled here and there because there are quite a few stanced cars out here for sure. But without a doubt, guys, it's a great show. You know, you got a lot of really killer rides. This one's a Roush Mustang. And we got a Ford Explorer ST. Let's check that one out. We're going to go take a look at this Ford Explorer ST and this really awesome looking Dodge Ram in a almost like adrenaline green. But check that out. This is a Explorer ST, about 450 horsepower, twin turbo V6. And then this Cummins Ram. And then we got a Tundra Titan diesel, Cummins diesel. I mean, this is where all the big dogs are out with the trucks. And we've got basically School of Rock's version of the Ford Focus in red. Oh, and there's my, there's my boy right here, man. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Are you Dude, I can't believe. Yeah, I'm actually, um, what's it called? Recording for YouTube. Oh, okay. Man, he's got the baddest Volkswagen on the planet. I mean. You checked it out? Yeah, we actually have that. I actually have it on video. It's yet to be released, but I was actually riding with him, my nephew, and his friend with a Mustang. And we were all riding to um, some, some uh, show. I think it was, uh, I'm trying to remember the place, uh, Wing Place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun going there. But I was here at 4.44 in the morning before my friend arrived here. And he told my nephew, he says, hey, your, your, your uncle's always here earlier than everybody else. <laughs> your uncle's insane. Yes, but yeah, man, you know what? I love hanging out with my boy right here. Without a doubt, man. I mean, what's called? Wait till you see his stuff. His car is going to be really awesome in the next coming year and a half. Because he's got some stuff got that you need. Yeah, for you. exactly. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I didn't even realize he had a twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I'm talking to the legit one, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, brother, take All right, care. take it easy. Yeah. All right, so let's go on and like, look at some more of these great cars. I mean, right here, this is everyone's favorite, an FD RX-7. It's got the uh, gold wrap, sort of like Mouse Ball has. And this one right here, this Kia with the anime wrap from i'm trying to remember what the uh the game is but if it's oh my goodness i forgot what the name of the game name of this game was but it definitely is one of the games that i used to play when i was um you know still had my playstation and my xbox working it's definitely not Fortnite. I think it's um, Overwatch. There we go. I think that's what it is. It's Overwatch. But yeah, guys, I mean, just loving it out here. Great, great show. This Volkswagen right here is hard as hell right here. The wheels look incredible. The fitment is super nice. I mean, just look at that thing, man. Want to make sure I don't harm these motorcycles. And then right here, we have the white hat version of the grand national this is a buick t-type and these came in white as opposed to black so even though most people would claim this is a tamer version of the grand national it actually can be tuned to quite a bit of power and then right over here guys check this out this right here is a gen 1 supra the color looks absolutely stunning I mean, whoever owns this car, they should be proud of it because it's super nice. I mean, this is one of the cleanest first-gen Supras I've seen out here. Front mount intercooler, really well done. I mean, this car is so nice. And I like these kinds of cars because they're like really rare to see. Oh, and it's right-hand drive, so it's full-on JDM. Got the blue with pink piping. Oh, super sweet right here. This is got the whole Miami vibe going and right here for all the JDM fans we got a R32 oh it's R33 very nice right here R33 Skyline RB this is a RB20 I think so yeah this is a original Skyline 
I mean, just these cars are fantastic, man. And we got a black focus from the STRS group. And just a lot of the German section coming in right now. This Audi right here and this Nardo gray, I mean, just sexy paint job, big massive grill on it. And then we have a Mercedes over here with this mint color. I mean, this is super cool right here. Just check that out. V8 by turbo. A lot of your Mercedes twin turbo cars are out here. So like I said, guys, I mean, not bad for the eight year anniversary. I mean, it's a little less packed than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still early. We could still see more cars arriving because you know, I've been here since 444 in the morning. So there's a lot that could be going on or that's going to be going on. So let's not discount this show just yet when it's just beginning. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how many other more people show up and I'll come back to you guys with another video. But for now, stay happy, stay healthy, stay wealthy. And remember when you're at the eight year anniversary at Cars and Coffee, it's just another way to say, Thanks to John Zalinga and the crew. Take it easy, guys. Mouse ball out.